Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Digital Studio and today I'm going to show you how to add lens flare to your footage in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now, we're on the edit page and I have this clip that I've shot uh, at the top of a hill uh, and there is some nice sun and I would like to add some uh, lens flare that goes through the frame. To do that, we're going to go over to the effect library, down to open effects and here we're going to search for lens flare. We're just going to take it, drag it onto our clip and here we got the lens flare effect on the clip. Now we're just going to switch from transform to open effects overlay so we can easily move that flare. We're going to put it right on top of the sun you always want to put the flare on top of the sun or on top of your light source uh, because that's just the natural way it looks if you just put it randomly right there in the cloud it looks very fake you have two source of uh, light you have two sun and it doesn't make any sense so you want it right on top of your light source right there and now it looks quite natural and very good in my opinion Right now, if we take a look in the inspector, as you can see, you can choose from a bunch of different presets. Uh, you have like a bunch of options that are all very valid depending on the clip that you have, uh, and it can be a great starting point depending on the kind of clip that you um, use. For example, something like that will absolutely not work with what I have, but could work uh, very well with a night shot. Um, for the clip that I have, something like late afternoon uh, or the default one will work very well. Then you got a bunch of options right here where you can adjust the position, but that we can do it directly here if we have the open overlay right there activated. We can also adjust the global look of the flare right there with global correction. We can adjust the scaling, make it bigger or smaller. We can adjust the anamorphism. We can also adjust here uh, the lens center position. So it's basically uh, where the light is eating in a frame. We can adjust that right here uh, and move it around as we want. We can adjust also the global focus. So if you have a shallow depth of field, it can be very useful to have your flare, uh, you know, a bit unfocused uh, and look a bit more natural, depending again on the clip that you have. You can adjust the brightness right there. You can also adjust the saturation. And down there, if you look here, you can also adjust the aperture, depending on how many blades you want to appear. It will change the number of uh, ray of light that you will get in your sun right here. The more blade you add, the more ray of light you will have. We don't really see it right now because it's in the focus. If I focus a lot, as you can see here, we have a lot of blades, so we have a lot of ray. And if you bring it down, you have less blade, so you have less ray. You can also adjust the angle right here, so you can make uh, that flare rotated. And then you also have the possibility here in elements to adjust every piece uh, in that flare. So here you can adjust any element of the flare if you want to adjust the color, if you want to adjust the position. So right here, as you can see, we are adjusting this ray right there. We can now go to Ghost 3, for example, which will be this pink right there. So here we can adjust the size. You see what we're doing. Um, if I want to make it, for example, here uh, blue instead, here we go, now it's blue instead of pink. And you can really adjust each part of the flare uh, by selecting here in the drop down uh, if you want to adjust the flare spot, uh, the starburst and each ghost. The ghosts are those uh, layer of color that you see right here. Now, one thing to take into consideration is that this flare is not tracked. So that will not be a problem if you have a fixed clip, but if you have a moving clip like this one, uh, you will need to do just a quick keyframe. So we're gonna go at the beginning, we're gonna place right there our flare in the position that we want, right about here. Then we're gonna go over to position, we're gonna place the keyframe right there, and then we're just gonna go at the end of the clip, and we're gonna readjust the position of the flare back right here. And now if we play it, as you can see, the lens flare is staying on top of the sun. And uh, with that, the strike right here is moving along and that makes the shot uh, look more natural. And it looks like it's a natural flare, not something that has been added. And that's pretty much it. Here there is a before and after. As you can see, it can greatly enhance uh, your video clip if that's used properly. Hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.